pairs pretty much with anything. But here at Couples Resorts, Chef Stefan Staff likes to pair bubbly with things that are a little more savory. We learned from Pretty Woman that strawberries and champagne go well together, but you don't seem to think so. I honestly, I don't like it at all. I really think it's a waste of good champagne. You start with champagne, which is really a nice ap aperitif, I think. And then you go into your white wines and your red wines. But by the time I think you're so full and your taste buds, they're so saturated that it's, it's just too late for that, really. I much prefer um, savory things. So we have a sampling of savory items right here. What do we have? Well, really, again, these are our local specialities. We have our local smoked marlin, which is, if you imagine, smoked salmon, but it's made obviously with marlin. And the beauty about it also is the wood that is used for the smoking process is the pimento wood. So you get all that flavor um, in it through the smoking, but also through the marination, because when marinating the fish, the pimento, the garlic, the ginger, all of that is being used as well. What is it about the smokiness of the marlin that works with the champagne? I think it's that slightly saltiness that marlin also has, together with that harsh kind of smokiness. It really brings out, I think, the most in a really good champagne. And then we have some breadfruit here. I really like the idea and the challenge to pair very common, very basic foods with a really high-end product. And I think that's just a classic example. I mean, there's nothing better than just having freshly roasted breadfruit. So you've got that kind of bready, starchy texture with mm -hmm. it. And, you know, I mean, it's great because it's so heavy. And then you've got the champagne to wash it down. What more do you really want? This last item we oh, have here. Oh, my favorite. Absolute, my absolute favorite. This is our local jerk sausage heavy on the pimento, on the garlic, and on the local scotch bonnet, so it's got a real kick to it. The key is to char it really well, because you want that caramelized um, outside. Almost burnt, but not quite burnt, but you've got that really heavy flavor with it. And we pair it with a local scotch bonnet jam. It has guava in it, it has ginger, garlic, thyme, and the local scotch bonnet pepper. So it is sweet and spicy. And that flavor, together with the jerk sausage, is just really, really um, incredible. And that now, with the champagne, it's a real winner. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Cheers. Absolutely. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>